Okay, let's get real here. Oftentimes, the attacks from the left and their lies are so absurd and far off, they make me laugh. But other times, they just downright make me mad because they hurt people. One of Republicans' favorite things is to claim that they don't support what they actually do support. And this is a perfect example of that. All across the country, the Democrats are ramping up another set of lies and false attack ads, this time trying to desperately politicize and scare our veterans. It's disgusting, it's a complete lie, and it's consistent with how today's Democrats in D.C. roll. They lied about Social Security and Medicare, and now they are lying about cuts to the VA. Let me be clear, not a single Republican, including me, voted to cut anything at the VA with our Limit, Save, Grow Act. There is nothing in the text of this bill that harms any veteran. But the inaction by Democrats on out-of-control spending is harming each and every one of us with runaway inflation and $32 trillion in debt. Republicans support our veterans because we love our veterans and we love the freedoms we all enjoy because of their bravery and commitment to our country. So of course she decides to rant about how these evil Democrats are lying about the Republican plan to strip away benefits from veterans, which of course is literally true. The Republicans do, in fact, under their budget cut plan because they want to control inflation, are actually proposing that we do cut some VA benefits and cut budgets for the VA more broadly, among a litany of other social programs because fundamentally Republicans hate anybody that is in any way, shape, or form dependent on social programs. Because of course, why would they care about anybody that isn't a giant corporation? But you see, it doesn't really matter what Republicans actually vote for because the truth of the matter is, most people that are voting Republican today are voting purely out of hatred. Like, let's be real. They want to hate on people and harass people, and that is basically their entire political ideology. And the Republican electeds, they know this. All they really need to do is create specific targets. In this instance, today, it's mostly trans people that are like the main focus of the Republican Party, but there have been plenty of other marginalized groups that have been the main focus, and they just attack those people, claim that those people are un-American, and then use this false sense of patriotism to try and justify whatever nonsense they're doing. And it's not about policy. They don't care about policy. These are people who are addicted to hatred. That's why, as the popular app Blue Sky is flooded mostly by trans people and people who are on the left, you see right-wingers begging to get in, saying that they don't want an echo chamber, despite the fact that there are plenty of right-wing echo chambers like Parler out there. It's not that conservatives are being censored or don't have their own spaces, it's that those spaces are fundamental failures because the entire ideology of being a right winger today in the United States is just centered around disliking people and annoying people. They don't like to be on Parler as much as they like to be on Twitter because they just want to harass people. It's just a weird, sick power trip for them. So no, they don't actually care that Republicans are planning on stripping benefits from people. And Lauren Boebert can run around saying, oh, these Democrats are lying to you. They're lying to you because they're evil Satan worshiping Democrats. And of course, these people are gonna eat it up because these people don't care about reality. They're entirely disconnected from reality. All they care about is scoring perceived points against their perceived political enemies. Fundamentally, the Republican Party is just a party of hate that is using unhinged conspiracy theories in order to get people to believe the most ridiculous nonsense about marginalized people. Because so long as they're spending all of their time harassing marginalized people for just existing, the less time they're thinking about how miserable their own lives are. Because let's be real. No matter what conservatives get legislatively, they will never be happy. There is nothing, no policy success, that will ever make Republicans satisfied. If they ban trans people from public, they will find a new target of people to go after, or they will start wildly speculating that different cisgender people are trans. Because once again, they don't actually care about the specific legislative victories. They just care about weaponizing hatred.